So pharmacopoietin receptor agonists are a mainstay of treatment of ITP in 2023, um, but these agents have you know, been around for about 15 years in ITP. Um, for the longest time, we really had ranipalostim and l trombopag and we didn't have a whole lot of long-term data. Now we have long-term data for those agents and we have new agents like avatrombopag and hetrombopag. Um, hetrombopag currently uh, limited to China, but there's investigations that are starting with this drug outside of China and in the West. So um, these new agents um, really are helping to change the landscape as well as some of the long-term safety data. We now really understand quite well that uh, you know, initial concerns like myelofibrosis and, and uh, the risk of leukemogenesis um, with these agents really, at least for Ripplesim l pag, clearly, you know, uh, those, those uh, initial concerns have not worn out. So we, we had that long-term safety data that makes us comfortable using these agents. This is probably true for the newer agents too, but we don't have that data yet for them. But newer agents like Avatrombopag um, allow for patients to receive an oral therapy without dealing with all of the dietary restrictions that l pag has and without dealing with um, the risk for hepa hepatotoxicity. So um, we now have you know a number of different options for for ITP patients, and it's important to have a discussion with the patients regarding their, you know, uh, preferences uh, for treatment, um, and and finding the right agent for them. Also, we now recognize that you know whether we're switching between ranipalostim and l trombopag or l trombopag and avatrombopag, that the chances of success are quite high with switching, even greater than 50% in those patients who did not respond to the first agent. We know this from a, a number of studies that have been done involving these three agents. Um, and some new data for with <coughs> head trauma PAG as well, showing uh, a similar uh, success rates after switching. So um, uh, switch for a good reason, um, uh, not for no reason, but you're likely to uh, have a response whether that, whether that you're switching for convenience, adverse effects, or uh, ineff ineffectiveness of the prior agent. Um, we are also recognizing now with the, with the question of tapering of thrombopoietin receptor agonists uh, to try to induce a sustained response off treatment and sort of irrespective of the study and all of these have been done with l trombopag or amiplostim, we have about a one third chance of success on average um, to get the patient into a sustained response off treatment. In other words, an acceptable platelet count, not necessarily a normal platelet count, so I use the word response rather than remission, um, off treatment without any uh, ITP directed treatment after tapering off. Those patients that have been on a TPOR receptor agonist for a, a year or longer who regularly maintain a count of above 100,000 are good candidates uh, to try this.